Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. I think I'll pass. It's your love. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. detected an anomaly. Mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with the Seni War, we've done horrible. 
terrible things to the crew, the conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as... Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe... That neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems... unlikely. You came? 
from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Incoming! <laughs> wasn't neural decay. They were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? Why is everyone here female? Can't be a coincidence. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. The Hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. Your captain demands obedience. Patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. 
Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. So why call for help now? The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. The old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Hostile! his fun and now he wants out. Oh, 
people away. This thing is not my father. in the eye and hear him justify this. Field is clear. Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Now everyone knows everything. I want to hear you try and justify this. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. 
That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Until you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We could be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was it supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body had some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. Requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. <laughs>